Hi guys, it's Magali and if it's your first time on my channel then welcome and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I make pretty regular videos on beauty, fashion and lifestyle. So if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. I know I've been gone a few weeks now but I'm absolutely ready to like get back on track with videos and I thought what better way to come back than with like a lipstick swatch and review video and I think this brand is kind of extra special to me also. So today we're going to be talking about Verified which is a new makeup brand by Anamsi who is also a blogger and a YouTuber. She has started this brand and the first product is 10 different lipsticks. The lipsticks are called Butter to Matte Longwear Lipsticks. If you visited the website you might have seen someone else that you know and by someone else that you know I mean me. I was a part of the launch shoot on like the home page and stuff and you might also see me on a few of like the lipstick product pages. I'm gonna give you an overview of the product first then I'm gonna show you swatches of all 10 shades on my lips and then at the end I'll kind of go into a review. I got the kit which has all 10 shades so I got it in this really cute heart shape box and there was this heart shape pouch inside. Each tube is 4 grams of lipstick. They are formulated in Italy but they are made in India. It's enriched with jojoba, argan, cocoa butter and vitamin E. So all really moisturizing enriching ingredients. Also the range of lipsticks is vegan, high performance, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, talc free, paraben free and toxin free. They come in these golden lipstick tubes. It's actually like a screw type of opening which I was a little bit surprised by. You don't see screw openings that much. I'm kind of used to the clicky openings but a screw opening is definitely a little bit more secure for when you're carrying it around you're not likely to have this open in your makeup bag. Butter to matte kind of gives you a clue of what the formula is supposed to be like. It applies really buttery on the lips and then dries down to a matte. When you see the swatches some of them may look like they have a little bit of sheen to them and that's because you know I'm going through the swatches sort of quickly and when you just apply a lipstick it'll have a little bit of shine to it. But within like 3-4 minutes, it should dry down to a full matte, but not something that's particularly drying. In fact, they actually recommend that even if you have dry lips, don't put on a lip balm just before you apply this. Because this formula is like meant to go directly on your lips. If you put a lip balm on in between, that may compromise on the wear time and stuff. So you just need to apply this directly. Now we are going to go on to the 10 swatches. There's no official shade order so I've sort of ordered the shades from light to dark. I'm also gonna do my best to kind of describe what the shade looks like to my eyes. The first shade we're gonna swatch is Monday which is this kind of light warm pink that has a little bit of like a peachiness to it as well. And then we're gonna move on to 5 feet 3 which is another like pink shade but this one is more cool toned. The third shade is 26 Jan, another sort of pink, little bit deeper, more of a warm tone shade. And now we're moving on to Shabbo, another peachy pinky nude. This is like a mid-toned, slightly warm shade. And then on to Letella. Letella is the one I'm wearing like in the rest of this video also where I'm just talking. It's brown but a nice nude brown, it's not like brown brown. Now on to Boop which is like a mid-toned, kind of warm, orangey red shade. There was a time when I was totally obsessed with orangey reds. Now WWW which is like a mid-toned pink. We're going into slightly deeper territory. This is like a neutral shade. I think it's not warm, it's not cool. But it's quite pink. More towards fuchsia. On to BBRL which is just like a neutral red lip. Everyone needs a good red lipstick and this is just a dependable red. On to Not Your Princess which is more like deeper and purple toned like reminds me of grapes and stuff. Finally on to Cherry Berry which is a berry shade like a nice slightly vampy kind of lip perfect for like winter time and parties and stuff 
I know that I'm not like the neatest when it comes to lip swatches. So in case, you know, I colored outside the lines in some place. I hope you guys are okay with that and I hope that the swatches just helped you understand how they look on my face or whatever. I really like the verified lipsticks. Now I know that you guys always comment and tell me that you really like my reviews because I try to be like really forthright and unbiased and I have to say that in this case I don't know if I can be completely unbiased in this case i know the creator of this brand i'm friends with her like i know what she's kind of gone through and what are her intentions with this brand like and how hard it has been to launch this i also feel emotionally invested in this journey and i also want this brand to succeed now the, that little disclaimer or whatever is out of the way I think this is like a fantastic lineup of lipsticks. The 10 shades are really pretty and encompass a lot of skin tones. Maybe the first two that I showed you guys, they might be better for lighter skin tone people. I just felt that maybe they wash me out but all of the other shades look so gorgeous and they are definitely like all really wearable lipsticks so that's nice. My favorite kind of lip formula is actually really glossy and these are mattes but the thing is glossy lips are just really inconvenient. I love wearing glossy lipsticks and just taking photos sitting here but when it's time for me to go out and I'm still wearing a mask, I hope you guys are as well, masks and glossy lips just do not mix at all. It is a hot mess and I've been wearing these for like I think close to a month now. These are really practical and hardworking lipsticks for like our current lifestyles and stuff because most of us are now going out a little bit more. I'm stepping out a few times a week and I know like some of you guys who work in offices are gonna have to start going back to offices and stuff. So these are just made with like everything that we're going through in mind. They are transfer proof as long as you just wait a little bit after applying it it's not going to come on the inside of your mask and it's going to stay on through most of the day you won't have to worry about touching up really often or you won't have to worry that has my lipstick moved all around my face i found that they do survive a light snack for sure like finger foods and tea and stuff my lipstick is still good but if i wear this and eat a meal it does kind of fade and disappear. It doesn't make a mess, but after a meal, I do require just a quick reapplication, which I usually look into my phone's front camera and do, you know. Amongst all of the shades, Boop and Latella are definitely my favorite. I'm wearing Latella right now. I can't stop raving about how pretty the shade is. I don't think I have a brown like this already in my ample collection of lip products. And this is something that I've been reaching for just a lot. It goes with like almost all clothing and I think it really complements my skin tone and stuff. And I really love it. A very pretty wearable brown. And Boop is like a nice orangey red also, which I love. These two shades are my favorite and they have found a permanent place in my makeup bag. You know, I'm just carrying them everywhere. And I recently went on a cruise. Did you guys see the vlog? I'm gonna link it over there. These two lipsticks, were with me they were in my makeup bag and i was defaulting to one or the other every day that i put on makeup another thing i like i think is that the formula is actually pretty solid even though i have worn boop a lot i have barely scratched the surface that means even if you get one of these and wear them like very regularly make it your signature shade i think it lasts a really long time and it's very good bang for your buck that is pretty much all that I have to say for this review. I don't think I didn't address anything and I don't really have anything critical to say because I didn't really find anything wrong with it. I think the lipsticks and the whole range like was created with a lot of intention and attention to detail. I would definitely recommend these lipsticks if you're looking for something new to get. There are really pretty everyday wear shades and the deeper shades would just look really perfect for like the festive season and any parties or anything like that if you have any questions at all as always feel free to leave a comment below and we'll chat over there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time